distinguished guests, faculty, dear parents, completers, and graduates to the July 2021 Ambassador Pablo R. Suarez National High School Virtual Commencement. We are honored to be here to commemorate this special moment with you and your loved ones. To formally start, let us all have the processional together with our faculty and staff of Ambassador Pablo R. Suarez National High School. National Anthem of the Philippines Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas Prayer. Messages. We are all in this together, and thank you for being part of the solution. This momentous event of your lives 
in the era of hard times brought about by the pandemic, I would like to convey my heartfelt congratulations to all of you who made it as completers and graduates for school year 2020-2021. Yes, it was not easy, yet you survived. You are all winners and you are all great. Your accomplishments today is more impressive and meaningful because of the different contexts through which you have persevered. You face the challenges and uncertainties and your courage and determination put you to where you are now. Your certificates and diplomas prove of your of where you have gone and what you have done. The journey you have been through this school year is far different from all those behind you. You learned the knowledge, skills, and values in a different way, sometimes in a special way. You have teachers whom you miss, their sense and smiles. You have classmates whom you have never physically met. You learn things and ways more than you wrote or you thought you could. Be proud to what you have now and where you are now. Be proud that you are a pandemic completer and graduate. I honor you, all completers and graduates. I honor your unique way of coping your struggles. I honor your anxieties and doubts when you submit your activity sheets and modules. I honor your resiliency in the remote teaching and learning process where adjustment is the key. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, is a reminder for us to work hand in hand and be always ready for bayanihan. Be ready to act as one. To our teachers, parents, and stakeholders, thank you for be being there always to respond to the call of times. The education of our learners today became a testimony of our unity where we got the better gains because of a quality education strengthened by your support and passion. We celebrate this year's completion and graduation rites as a great milestone in our journey as Filipino. The quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic carries a strong message of hope when everything seems fall into desperation. We continue, we strive, and we persist because we could not allow our learners to wait. And we are all one in fulfilling our mandate of delivering accessible, quality, liberating, and relevant education even in these trying times. Completers and graduates, congratulations! Continue to live up the values that we stand for. Maka Dios, maka tao, maka kalikasan, and maka bansa. Continue to fulfill your dreams and vision. Continue to build your story of resiliency with humility, joy, honor, and pride. Ours is a story to tell to others, to the generations after us, and that even with the COVID-19 pandemic, we could still be the best and we could soar up high. Don't be sad because it's over. Smile because it happened. In David Bohol, we care for all. Behold. Greetings of love and peace to each and everyone. School year 2020-2021 has been the most challenging year in education. All been struggling to survive in all aspects. But our beloved Secretary Leonor Magtulis Briones lead the baton that education must continue amidst whatever crisis we will be facing. And so, here we are, 
celebrating one of the most precious achievement accomplishment that you have your graduation and moving up ceremonies it is one fleeting sense of pride and joy to be able to celebrate with all of you for your victory bravery resilience perseverance and commitment that push you to experience what we have today so our beloved most precious gems our dear learners just wanted to let you know that you are doing great it is not easy to be learners with all the pressures in today's world the more in these trying times due to pandemic how you hurdle your lessons remotely through distance learning of varied modalities the fear and scare of the virus due to negative publicity and many more but you survive and victorious so don't lose your heart if you find things difficult today the world is so tested it is a high time that you put all your learnings into action never be a bystander watching as the world takes a paradigm shift take the wheel collectively the youth are stronger than any pandemic known to men remember everyone is a student of life as we all keep learning something or the other throughout our lives so keep the faith and believe in yourselves work hard and work smart too and with the right focus and determination you will see that goals are not impossible to achieve just have a clear plan and whatever detours come your way don't be afraid face them with conviction that those are part of the pitfalls where we cannot evade so be strong and let your education and learnings with god be your shield and don't forget to thank the most honest persons in your life those who can say and tell you exactly what you are doing either good or bad those who guide you sincerely to the path where you want to walk on who always with you in times of your successes and downfalls they are your parents teachers relatives and best friend so learners congratulations you hit the mark on your timeline to all the parents and guardians out there your contribution towards the realization of the one's dreams of your children is so great sustain it and you will see and harvest the fruits of it sooner than later so thank you for partnering with deep ed through your children's education so to all of you congratulations to the school i know how you struggle also especially that the world was shocked of what happened and nobody was prepared there were so many hows and whys but you are able to navigate it until reaching its destination so whatever is the experience and hardships what is more important is the outcome of what you have done that's why my salute to you to our teachers school heads supervisors and non-teaching personnel you did a great job worthy of emulation i am proud of you to the sdos i am so happy of what your division accomplished 
for school year 2020-2021. Your efforts does it go to vain. Now it comes into fruition. So to all, kudos. To everyone, always have the smile in you. See miracles in life every day. And you will be filled with positivity in thoughts and actions. Congratulations once again. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Confirmation of Completers and Graduates of 2020-2021 By the authority and the vested by the school's division superintendent of the Department of Education, Bohol Division, Dr. Bianito A. Dagatan, I hereby confirm your graduation today at this public institution for the school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! You are now graduates. Let us welcome our grade 10 completers for the school year 2020-2021. Abellaneda Glenn. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Abellaneda. Adlaun Jason. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nisito Adlaun. Alcazar Juni. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jorman Alcazar. Bage Albert. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Felix Bagi. Bartulay James Ruel. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ruel Bartulay. Biol Jerry. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Biol. Bulanoy Rex John. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Santiago Bulanoy. Calago Rudel. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rinante Calago. Siladis J. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alejame Siladis. Sintilias Darwin. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. David Sintilias. Cloma Kim. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Artemio Cloma. Cobos Diesel. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Cobos. Kubos Gilbert, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Herman Kubos. Kubos Marjun, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mario Kubos. Dano Mark Duniel, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Dano. Dulugin Gerald, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Saturnino Dulugin. Gascar Jehan, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Maximo Gascar. King John Paul, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Narciso King. Lagi Jason, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Lagi. Lumagod John Michael, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Hermogenes Lumagod. Maiso Christian, with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Inerito Maiso. Maliza Riniel, 
parents, Mr. and Mrs. Chudoro Maliza. Maliza Raymar. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mario Maliza. Malmis Milson Steve. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson Malmis. Manila Ralph Anderson. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Manila. Marfe Mark. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Marfe. Mishona Mark Anthony. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Mishona. Mikutuan Jean Fell. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Panfilo Mikutuan. Nicanor Ray. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rolda Nicanor. Perez Arvin. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Perez. Perez Marvin. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Perez. Ramirez Hero. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Ramirez. Ramirez Keith Alexi. Mi parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Ramirez. Sarong Braille. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lolito Sarong. Sarong Esrael Jr. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Esrael Sarong Sr. Charot Julius. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Julito Charot. Taldo Paul Anthony. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Agustin Taldo. Akuimo Precious Dayan. Parents, Mrs. Shella Flor Akuimo. Alcuser Riza. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leonardo Alcuser. Anabieza Kimberly. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bienvenido Anabieza. Arsenio Charlie Joy. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rubiniano Arsenio. Badlana Jessame with high honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Sorpiano Badlan. Cabrera Charlene. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Carlon Cabrera. Cafe Ivy. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Apolinario Cafe. Camiros Sara May. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Isabelo Camiros. Camposo Irene. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ponciano Camposo. Loma Maria Shirir. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Pablo Cloma. Cobus Alexis with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bernabe Cobus. Cobus Erica with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Absalon Cobus. Dano Trexi. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Milo Dano. Dolotina Pearl with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Armando Dolotina. 
Gamil Ruena with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nicanor Gamil. Hontanosa Silicel Ann with honors. Parents, Mr. Mrs. Maricel Largo. Insul Laurel May. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Inso. Hardinero Key Marie. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Herme Hardinero. Ham Ronabel. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Haum. Lagunoy April Rose Emily with high honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Aurea Lagunoy. Lambos Jessa May. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Milo Lambos. Marfa Sheena Marie. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Marfe. Umulan Igime. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Gilbert Umulan. Uyangurin Mary Chris. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Uyangurin. Palagnas Julina. Parent, Mrs. Gina Palagnas. Ramirez Apple. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Procopio Ramirez Jr. Ramirez April Rose Lynn with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rose June Ramirez. Ramirez Sydney. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Sande Ramirez. Sarong Rachel with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Elmer Sarong. Tayuni Kezia May with honors. Parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Tayuni. Let us welcome our graduates for the school year 2020-2021. Adlaun Verhel Campion, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Junisho Adlaun. Anagon Joshua Marganyas, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Fausto Anagon. Ayento Drix Ingbino, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Florencio Bogbo. Buktuan Jesse Boy Camposo, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Rogelio Buktuan. Campion James Aninion, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nestor Campion. Kubos Julie Damole, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mario Kubos. Halasan Janre Magdua, parent, Mrs. Marcelina Magdua. Lagunoy Jamer Kagatin, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Lagunoy. Lintoko Virgilio Jr. Buktuan, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio Lintoko Sr. Melissa Christian Vertodaso, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Leonilo Maliza. Marfe Ariel Mesa Grande, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Marfe. Perez Justine, parents, Miss Emma D. Perez. Taliedo Jerry Ibanez, parent, 
Mr. Danilo Taliedo. Adlaun Maria Lourdes Campion with honors, leadership awardee, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Junisio Adlaun. Kanunoy Roname Kubos with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Vita Kubos. Kubio Mary Jane Casiris with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Roel Kubio. Dulugin Jeneline Lorimia, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Saturnino Dulugin. Huntalba Joyce Ann, with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ana Marie Suarez. Lagunoy Ivy Perez, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Nelson Lagunoy. Mijos Jezebel Siga, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Francisco Mijos. Ulbinario Michelle Ann Sharot, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Hermes Ulbinario. Palapar Marianita Coraza with honors, Academic Excellence Awardee, parent, Mrs. Benita Palapar. Pasagad Isa May Umboy with honors, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio Pasagad. Pilipog Michelle Sutil, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Marcelino Pilipog Sr. Pilapil Kimberly, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Mercy Paran. Piquet Mary Rose de la Cruz, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Epitanio Piquet. Porlaras Robilin, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Ramon Adlaon. Ramirez Dorolin, parent, Miss Rosa Ramirez. Ramirez Tutsi Monsales, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Procopio Ramirez Jr. Charlotte Gemma Ulbinario, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Julito Charlotte. Sumampong Christine Ann, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Fe Sumampong. And Verador Blizel Pilipog, parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bartolome Verador. Inspirational message. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have 
expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners so congratulations teachers for enduring for your patience for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also by our officials in the department of education we continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster in times of great need for classrooms for space and for responses to unforeseen emergencies thank you uh, local government uh, units but of course most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate each and every one of you is truly special you are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school you went to school practically without seeing your teachers if at all you went to school with your parents your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments you are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different you are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time 
uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further 
answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Papa, Mama, thank you for making Mewo I am today. I will forever be grateful for all the love, support, patience, and understanding you have a given to me. My success is heartily dedicated to you mi mama and papa.
To my classmate Wo was always around to help me. I want to thank you for helping me sail through the challenging times. Happy graduation, buddy. Congratulations Batch 2020 to 2021.